All right, time for another video. Okay, these batteries right here are the Nissan Leaf battery modules. Uh, I think these are third gen, I think. So there's two modules to put together in that same canister, the same metal canister. And so that means that they are a 4S module, right? Each one of these little modules is a 2S positive. And then here's the balance lead of the two cells and then there's a negative right so there's two cells in between here right uh and then those two are put together so now you have a uh, two modules with two cells inside and i think each which one of these has two cells in parallel so there's uh four groups of two cells so eight cells in each one of these modules right now these are uh for electric cars the nissan leaf but a lot of people are finding uses for these for other things one of the uh things that these could be very useful for it would be as a kind of a 12 volt the the uh these in the nominal they're 14.8 which is where like audio people want to have their 12 volt batteries right but usually lead acid batteries don't go that high they kind of settle back down to like the 13 volt range or something like that so these could be used for that uh they could also just be used for any other use uh the 12 volt uh application that you want to use them right you I, typically the voltage range falls a little bit behind uh, uh you know outside of the of the lead acid battery right but so even though you can't use the entire capacity of this battery uh you could use some of it and these are cheap and they're very powerful i think they can do like 300 amps each one so 300 amps 300 amps you could have a 12 volt battery right here that could give you 600 amps all right uh and so they're useful for that so in that for that reason we're making these little boards here right so there's these things here the these are the the studs the terminals they're, they're not studs they're um they have a nut in there so they have threads in there so i've made this board right here to make it really easy for you to be able to use uh, this module as a 14.8 volt, right? And so you connect this cable here and then you can connect, you know, a balancer or a, a full-fledged BMS. I just connected the balancer on here. And so it lets us know that all the cells are four cell groups. They're at 3.464. Uh, so within 10 millimeters, uh, 10 millivolts uh, difference there, right? So that's what this board allows you to do very quickly put six screws and now you have a battery now uh you can put a uh, xt60 connector right on the board itself here or you could put a uh, pigtail sort of like this up a, up until uh 10 gauge right i think this is the biggest gauge wire you can put on those little holes and then you can put uh xt90 in here right uh this is probably capable of 100 amps uh, any more than that, you would have to connect directly in here, but you could use the board to then run your, your uh, balance cables, right? Um, so I've done a, a one module board like this, but then I've also done a two module board that would do this entire thing here, right? And then you'd have two connectors or two pigtails with connectors in there that would probably be good for about 200 amps if you want it more than that if you want to get all 600 amps you would have to uh well connect straight into the the bus bars right here into the terminals of the cells right but this would help you uh parallel these two modules make sure they're not you know completely off so that you don't burn this thing right because you can see hundreds of amps one battery charging the other one right if they're completely off you would see sparks while you're installing this right uh, so it's always a good idea to have the batteries that you're connecting together be kind of in the same state of charge and the same condition kind of thing. The, the, the closer they are to each other, the less problems you'll see, right? But you would be able to install this in here, connect your wires. Now you have a very powerful 12 volt battery that could do about 600 amps and you can connect your balancer or your BMS really easily right on a connector that you would install in here like this one. Right, so these boards right here are open source. We designed them using free software and we uploaded this project uh, into our sponsor of this video, which is PCBWay. Uh, I have a full line of products that is basically a bunch of boards like this designed to make it really easy for you to use batteries to DIY 
uh, and repurpose batteries, right? So these right here are going to be the two versions that are going to be available for the Nissan Leaf uh, battery modules, right? And so you can go and download the, the files, the Gerber files, and then order them yourself from any PCB uh, shop on online, or you can buy them directly there on PCBWay.com and then that will help me and then help them. You support this channel and all the work that we do to just help you get these batteries, uh, you know, make them easier to use, right? So there you go. If you want to use uh, Nissan Leaf batteries and you want to just make a pack really easily, well, just get one of these, right? Um, I'll have the links to the open source project in the description of this video. Uh, you can go and buy all the stuff. There's links to the screws here and links to the connector and all the wires and stuff like that. All right, thank you PCB Way for sponsoring yet another one of these battery projects. And thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.